A heat gun is a must-have tool in my opinion, and I use mine just about every week. So the question is, which cordless as well as corded heat gun is the best? So why spend $138 for a genuine Milwaukee heat gun when you can buy this knockoff for only $36? The first heat guns we'll be testing are cordless, up to 500 degrees Celsius or 932 degrees Fahrenheit. It's powered by a Milwaukee M18 battery. I'll use 5 amp hour batteries to test the cordless heat guns. The knockoff Milwaukee comes with 4 different attachments. The knockoff Milwaukee is made in China. And the knockoff Milwaukee weighs 1.22 pounds. And the knockoff Milwaukee is relatively quiet at only 72.9 decibels. In the first test, let's see how long it takes for the heat guns to melt through a glue stick. I'll place the glue stick one inch from the nozzle. The 5 amp hour battery is fully charged. And the knockoff Milwaukee claims 400 watts and 932 degrees of heat. However, it's just not moving too much air and it's taking quite a while to melt the glue stick. And the knockoff Milwaukee is finally finished in 3 minutes and 28 seconds. At a price of $138 for just a heat gun and not the battery and charger is this Milwaukee brand. Reaches operational temperature in only 6 seconds. Up to 470 degrees Celsius or 878 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Milwaukee comes with two different attachments. Includes an LED light, made in China. And the Milwaukee weighs 1.64 pounds. And the Milwaukee makes a lot less noise than the knockoff at only 68.9 decibels. And the genuine Milwaukee weighs almost a half pound more than the knockoff. And the glue is already beginning to melt at around 30 seconds and seems to be working quite a bit faster than the knockoff. And the Milwaukee is finished in 2 minutes and 44 seconds or about 45 seconds faster than the knockoff. At a price of $36 for just a heat gun and not the battery and charger is this knockoff DeWalt heat gun. And the knockoff DeWalt claims it can make up to 990 degrees Fahrenheit or 532 degrees Celsius. It can achieve that heat in only 2 to 3 seconds. Includes a trigger lock. Comes with 5 separate attachments. The knockoff DeWalt is made in China. And the knockoff DeWalt weighs 1.165 pounds. And it's 73.1 decibels for the knockoff DeWalt. And the knockoff DeWalt seems to be making very good progress with the glue stick beginning to melt at around 30 seconds. And the knockoff DeWalt claims to make even more heat than the knockoff Milwaukee at 990 degrees Fahrenheit. And the knockoff DeWalt moves into the lead at 2 minutes and 38 seconds. At a price of $98 for just the heat gun and not the battery and charger is this DeWalt brand. The DeWalt has two different heat settings. DeWalt claims 990 degrees Fahrenheit or 532 degrees Celsius. The genuine DeWalt and the knockoff are very close to the same size. The DeWalt comes with two separate attachments. The DeWalt is made in China, and the DeWalt weighs 1.175 pounds. And the DeWalt is pretty quiet at only 64.5 decibels. And the genuine DeWalt also claims to make 990 degrees of heat, and it seems to be melting the glue stick just as quickly or even faster than the knockoff. And the genuine DeWalt heat gun moves into the lead at 2 minutes and 16 seconds. At a price of $55 for just the heat gun and not the battery and charger is this knockoff Makita. This heat gun works with Makita batteries up to 1,022 degrees Fahrenheit. Comes with three different attachments and a pair of gloves. Includes an LCD digital display. You can adjust the heat setting as well as the fan speed. The knockoff Makita is made in China. And the knockoff Makita is very light at just over a pound. And the knockoff Makita is right at 72.6 decibels. And the knockoff Makita is set to the highest fan speed and heat setting. And the knockoff Makita is beginning to melt the glue stick at around 45 seconds. The knockoff Makita is finally finished in 2 minutes and 51 seconds. At a price of $160 for just the heat gun and not the battery and charger is this Makita brand. Up to 1,022 degrees Fahrenheit. Compact design at only 6 and 5 eighths inches long. Max airflow is 7.1 CFM. It has a trigger switch with lock on and lock off functions. LED light to illuminate the work area. It comes with four different attachments. The Makita is made in China. And the Makita weighs quite a bit more than the knockoff at 1.48 pounds. And the Makita makes less noise than the knockoff at 69.7 decibels. And the Makita seems to be the fastest yet with the glue beginning to melt at around 25 seconds. And the Makita claims to make even more heat than the Milwaukee and the DeWalt at 1,022 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Makita moves into the lead at 2 minutes and 9 seconds. At a price of only $20 is this Warrior brand which is sold at Harbor Freight. They claim it has a 6 foot power cord and a 3 way switch. Includes two different temperature settings. It claims 1500 watts or 11 amps. The Warrior is made in China. And the Warrior weighs 1.025 pounds. And the Warrior is quite a bit louder than the cordless heat guns at 79.4 decibels. The Warrior claims 1500 watts and it did better than advertised at 1516. And the Warrior is already beginning to melt the glue stick in around 15 seconds which is quite a bit faster than the cordless glue guns. Instead of using just 400 watts, the Warrior uses quite a bit more electricity at 1500 watts which should really help. And the Warrior is the fastest yet at a minute and 21 seconds. At a price of $23 is this Seek One brand. It's a very popular brand with about 10,000 in sales in the last 30 days. It has a variable speed temperature control, two different fan speeds. It's designed with a built-in stand. It claims 1800 watts and up to 1202 degrees Fahrenheit. The Seek One is made in China.
Comes with four separate attachments, and the Seek One weighs very close to one pound. And 78.1 decibels is almost as loud as the Warrior. And the Seek One claims 1800 watts, but it came up short at around 1590. And the Seek One is already beginning to melt the glue stick in around 12 seconds. The Seek One glue gun uses around 70 watts more than the Warrior, and it seems to be helping. And the Seek One is finally finished in a minute and six seconds to move into the lead. At a price of only $25, is this Wen brand 12.5 amp variable temperature heat gun. Up to 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit. Airflow of either 79 or 132 CFM. The Win is made in China, and it's 1.2 pounds for the Win. And the Win is a lot less noisy than the Seek One at 73.9 decibels. And the Win is just over 1,500 watts. And it's taking the Win a little bit longer to begin melting the glue stick compared to the Warrior and the Seek One. The Win does use less energy than the Warrior and the Seek One at 1,510 watts. The Win still performed well, but it is two seconds slower than the Warrior at a minute and 23 seconds. At a price of $26, is this Black & Decker, 1,350 watts up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Two different temperature settings. Built-in stand makes cool down easier and safer. Three position side handle, made in China. And the Black & Decker is the lightest yet at 0.97 pounds. And the Black & Decker is the loudest yet at 80 decibels. And it's just over 1,500 watts for the Black & Decker. And the Black & Decker is already beginning to melt the glue in less than 15 seconds. The Black & Decker does appear to be moving a lot more air compared to the wind, and that's really helping. And the Black & Decker is already finished at a minute and 12 seconds to move into second place behind the Seek One. At a price of $28, is this Wagner brand. It has two temperature settings, 750 degrees and 1000. It claims it can easily loosen rusted bolts. Comes with three different attachments. The Wagner is made in China. And the Wagner is very light at 0.875 pounds. And 72.9 decibels is relatively quiet for a corded heat gun. And the Wagner only made it to just over 1,237 watts. And the Wagner is off to a quick start with the glue stick beginning to melt in under 15 seconds. And the Wagner just doesn't use nearly as much energy as the other quarter heat guns at around 1,238 watts. However, it is moving a lot of air, which should really help. And a minute and 10 seconds is two seconds faster than the Black & Decker. At a price of $40, is this Scorch Marker brand? Up to 1,500 watts or 930 degrees Fahrenheit. The Scorch Marker comes with one attachment. Includes two separate fan speeds. The Scorch Marker is made in USA. And the Scorch Marker weighs just over one pound. 79 decibels is almost as loud as the Black & Decker. And the Scorch Marker is the most powerful heat gun yet at 1,619 watts. And the Scorch Marker is already beginning to melt the glue in a around 10 seconds. And the Scorch Marker is at around 1,619 watts the most yet. And the Scorch Marker finished one second slower than the Seek One at a minute and seven seconds to move into second place. At a price of $40, is this Porter Cable brand. It's a 1,500 watt dual temperature heat gun. Includes a high and a low fan speed. Temperature control dial allows for easy adjustment of temperatures. Integrated support stand allows the gun to sit upright and hands free. The Porter Cable is made in Thailand. And the Porter Cable weighs 1.59 pounds. And the Porter Cable is at 1,521 watts and it's at 76.5 decibels. And the Porter Cable is a little bit slower than the Scorch Marker at beginning to melt the glue at around 15 seconds. And the Porter Cable uses about 100 watts less than the Scorch Marker. And a minute and 17 seconds is about 10 seconds slower than the Scorch Marker. At a price of $55 is this Craftsman brand. The Craftsman claims up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Two fan speeds for optimal airflow. It has a variable temperature control dial. Rated for 1500 watts. The Craftsman is made in Thailand. And it's 1.565 pounds for the Craftsman. And the Craftsman is pretty quiet at only 72.4 decibels. And the Craftsman performed better than advertised at 1590 watts. And the Craftsman heats up very fast and it's already beginning to melt the glue in around 12 seconds. It's also moving a lot of air as the melting glue is getting blown about. And the Craftsman just moved into the lead over the Seek One at a minute in two seconds. Very impressive. At a price of $60, is this Hercules brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. It claims it can deliver up to 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 amps or 1,700 watts. The Hercules comes with three different attachments. The Hercules is made in China, and the Hercules weighs 1.675 pounds. Just like the Craftsman, the Hercules is relatively quiet at 73.1 decibels. And the Hercules is the most powerful heat gun yet at just over 1,730 watts. And the Hercules is making good use of its 1,730 watts of energy consumption, and the glue is beginning to melt at around 12 seconds. And the Hercules doesn't seem to be moving quite as much air as a Craftsman. However, the Hercules is still performing very well at a minute and 10 seconds. At a price of $79 is this DeWalt brand, rated for 1,550 watts or 13 amps. It has a variable temperature control knob. It has a kickstand for vertical stability. The DeWalt is made in Thailand and it's 1.83 pounds for the DeWalt. And the DeWalt is a little bit louder than the Hercules at 75.8 decibels. And 1,520 watts is pretty close to average for the heat guns. And the DeWalt is beginning to melt the glue at around
around 20 seconds, which is not nearly as fast as some of the other brands. And the DeWalt just doesn't move nearly as much air compared to some of the other brands, and that really hurts. And the DeWalt is finally finished in a minute and 30 seconds. At a price of $145, or about twice as much as the DeWalt brand, is this Milwaukee. It's rated for 11.6 amps or 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Delivers 15 CFM. Wide support base provides superior stability to prevent tip over. The Milwaukee is made in Thailand. And the Milwaukee weighs 1.415 pounds. And the Milwaukee is about the same as the Hercules at 72.8 decibels. And just over 1,500 watts is about the same as the DeWalt. Just like the DeWalt, the Milwaukee is taking a little bit longer longer to begin melting the glue stick. And the Milwaukee and DeWalt use about the same amount of electricity and neither of the heat guns seem to move too much air. And a minute and 30 seconds is the same amount of time as the DeWalt. At a price of $157 is this Makita brand. It claims it can achieve 1,202 degrees Fahrenheit. Slide switch says three airflow settings, cooling, low, and high heat. Includes four different attachments, rubberized pistol grip handle, and an integrated rear stand. The Makita is made in China, and it's 1.565 pounds for the Makita. And the Makita makes about the same amount of noise as the Hercules at 73.9 decibels. And just over 1,730 watts is almost the same as the Hercules. And the Makita is already beginning to melt the glue stick at around 10 seconds. And the Makita is using about 1,730 watts, and it's also moving a lot of air. And the Makita is very fast, and it moves into second place behind the Craftsman at a minute and five seconds. At a price of $185, the most expensive heat gun we'll be testing is made by Master. It's rated for 1,740 watts. They claim it reaches a max temperature of 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit quickly. The Master heat gun is assembled in USA. And the Master claims to be rugged and reliable, but unfortunately, the one I bought is already broken and out of the competition. For the cordless heat guns, the genuine Makita came out on top at 129 seconds. Genuine DeWalt finished in second place at 136. Corded heat guns are a lot faster than the cordless heat guns, and the Craftsman came out on top at 62 seconds. Makita finished in second place at 65, Seek 166, and Scorch Marker 67 seconds. And the genuine cordless DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Makita heat guns make the least amount of noise at less than 70 decibels. The quietest corded heat gun is the Craftsman. Power cord length can sometimes be a challenge, and the Hercules has the longest power cord at 10 feet. DeWalt's power cord is also pretty long at 9.6. And the next test, let's see how much heat the heat guns can pour into a piece of aluminum. Each heat gun will have right at three minutes to make as much progress as possible. I'll keep track of the temperature using a temperature probe inserted into the aluminum. After one minute, the knockoff Milwaukee has heated the aluminum to around 110 degrees. And it's 151 degrees at around two minutes. And 186.4 degrees at three minutes just isn't very hot. And the genuine Milwaukee is off to a quicker start than the knockoff at around 116 degrees at one minute. And it's gaining even more momentum after two minutes at around 163 degrees. And three minutes is up and the Milwaukee moves into the lead at 201 degrees. And the knockoff DeWalt is trailing the genuine Milwaukee at 112 degrees at one minute. 156 degrees at two minutes is better than the knockoff Milwaukee. And a three minutes is up and the knockoff DeWalt moves into second place at 192 degrees. And the genuine DeWalt is the hottest yet at around 119 degrees at one minute. And the DeWalt is gaining momentum at two minutes at around 175. At three minutes, 224.6 degrees and the DeWalt moves into the lead. The knockoff Makita is trailing the competition around 107 degrees at one minute. At two minutes, 143 degrees is 30 degrees cooler than the genuine DeWalt. And three minutes is up, and the knockoff Makita really struggled at only 176.4 degrees. And the genuine Makita is off to a strong start at 130 degrees at one minute. And the Makita is still performing well at two minutes at around 181. And the genuine Makita finished in second place behind the DeWalt at 222.4 degrees. Just comparing the cordless heat guns, the genuine tools all outperform the knockoffs. And the Warriors outperforming all the cordless heat guns at around 159 degrees after a minute. And 251 degrees after two minutes is a lot better than the cordless heat guns. And the Warrior moves into the lead at 314.2 degrees at three minutes. And the Seek 1 is around 170 degrees after one minute. At two minutes, 278 degrees is over 25 degrees hotter than the Warrior. And the Seek 1 moves into the lead at 354.4 degrees at three minutes. And the wind is performing about the same as the Seek 1 at around 172 degrees after a minute. 285 degrees at two minutes is better than the Seek 1. And the wind moves into the lead at 360. 63.6 degrees at three minutes. The Black & Decker is trailing the wind and the Seek 1 at one minute at around 167 degrees. And the Black & Decker is at 280 degrees at two minutes. 
And the Black & Decker is at 355 degrees to move into second place at three minutes. And the Wagner is performing about the same as the Black & Decker at one minute at around 168 degrees. At two minutes, the Wagner is outpacing the competition at around 286 degrees. And the Wagner moves into the lead at 380.3 degrees. And the Scorch Marker makes a lot of heat and it's the hottest yet at around 190 degrees at one minute. And the Scorch Marker is scorching the competition at around 320 degrees at two minutes. And the Scorch Marker moves into the lead at 403.9 degrees. Degrees. The Porter Cable is performing about the same as the wind at 172 degrees at a minute. And 284 degrees at two minutes is about average. And three minutes is up and it's 357.3 degrees for the Porter Cable. It took me about five seconds to start the clock, so I'll adjust accordingly. And the Craftsman is performing well at 182 degrees at one minute. At two minutes, the Craftsman is almost as hot as a scorch marker. And the Craftsman moves into the lead at 443.5 degrees. Very impressive. The Hercules is performing well at one minute at around 194 degrees. At two minutes, the Hercules is trailing the Craftsman by 20 degrees. And the Hercules is a little slow to warm up, but it's almost as hot as the Craftsman at 440.4 degrees at three minutes. And the Dewalt is a lot cooler than the Hercules at 168 degrees at one minute. The Dewalt is really struggling at two minutes at around 240 degrees. And it's at 360.5 degrees after three minutes. And the Milwaukee is performing about the same as the DeWalt at around 168 degrees at a minute. The Milwaukee continues to struggle at two minutes at around 249 degrees. At three minutes, 364.5 degrees. And the Makita is performing about the same as the Hercules at 194 degrees after a minute. At two minutes, 342 degrees is the hottest yet. And three minutes is up and it's 441.3 degrees, which is about the same as the Craftsman and the Hercules. If you're looking for a heat gun that warms up the fastest, the Makita and the Hercules performed about the same after one minute at 194 degrees. After three minutes, the Craftsman came out on top at 443.5 degrees. The Makita and Hercules performed just about as well at over 440 degrees. Manufacturers advertise maximum heat to sell heat guns. So let's test that next. And the knockoff Milwaukee ran out of steam at 783.3 degrees. The genuine Milwaukee performed a lot better at 917.6 degrees. The knockoff DeWalt only made it to 827.4 degrees or about 90 degrees cooler than the Milwaukee. And the genuine DeWalt moves into the lead at 919.2 degrees. And the knockoff Makita really struggled at 779.5 degrees. And the genuine Makita moves into the lead at 926.1 degrees. Once again, the name brand tools outperformed the knockoff tools by a pretty wide margin. And it took a couple of minutes to reach maximum temperature, but the Warrior made it to 1,020 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Seek 1 made it to just over 940 degrees. And the Win only made it to just over 886 degrees. And the Black & Decker is about the same as the Warrior at 1,016 degrees. And the Wagner is the hottest yet at 1,120 degrees. And the Scorch Marker made it to just over 1,000 degrees. And the Porter Cable made it to 1,036 degrees after a couple of minutes. And the Craftsman is by far the hottest yet at 1,279. And Hercules also became very hot at 1,246 degrees. And the Dwalt heat gun continues to struggle at almost 900 degrees. The Milwaukee corded heat gun made to 1,044. And the Makita continues to perform very well at 1,176 degrees. So the Craftsman came out on top at 1,279 degrees. Hercules also performed well at 1,246 and Makita 1,176. Let's compare the Milwaukee cordless heat gun against the Makita corded bending some PVC pipe. I'll add some weight to the end of the pipe and I'll apply heat two inches from the vise. And the cordless Milwaukee is taking quite a bit of time to heat up the PVC pipe. And the pipe is starting to bend just a little at one minute. And the pipe actually split and the test is over at two minutes. And the corded Makita makes a lot more heat compared to the cordless Milwaukee and it heats up very quickly. And the pipe is already beginning to bend in only 22 seconds. And the Makita is already finished in 38 seconds or about a minute and 22 seconds faster than the cordless heat gun. While cordless heat guns aren't nearly as fast as corded guns, they are very useful in applications where there isn't plug-in power available. And the cordless heat gun has plenty of heat for the heat shrink tubing. So which brand is the best? The left side of the chart includes information on the noise level of the tools, power cord length, type of controls, and power consumption. The right side of the chart includes heat gun rankings for several categories. And the Craftsman came out on top with an average finish of 1.5. At 1590 watts, it's not quite as powerful as the Makita and the Hercules. So it does take a little bit longer to warm up. And the Makita finished in second place with an average finish of two. And the Hercules also performed very well with an average finish of 2.75. If it's all about value, I really like the Seek 1 at a price of around $23. It actually outperforms several more expensive heat guns. If I had to choose just one heat gun, I would definitely go with the Craftsman. It's a great value at $55 and it performs extremely well. 
I also like the Hercules quite a bit, and it too is affordable at around $60. Finally, I like the Makita, but it's way too expensive. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.